Hi, hi. Welcome to day two. It's glad to have you back. So in today's episode, I am going to be talking about fascinator making. Fascinators and hats is another category of headwear and also it's so beautiful and alluring such that you just love it at first sight. Okay, and most times I would say that creating fascinators can be very exciting because of the beautiful color combination, the materials needed, the tools, and of course you always want to see the outcome when you are done. So fast forward to the tools and the materials of fascinator making. So on my left hand side right here I have the tools and on the other side I have the materials. I must warn you that fascinators are not cheap because the materials are mostly imported and of course you want to make sure that you see the outcome in your mind because this will guide you to know what materials you would be needing for what design for fascinator making you will need the following tools ready and handy for you to be able to create your beautiful designs anytime so the first thing is your steam iron but you can always improvise with a regular dry iron or any type of iron that you have the second one is the push pins push pins will enable you to you know block your base like create your own cap all by yourself and you need this colored pins right here and the third one is the blocks blocks is popularly called molds right but the correct word is actually block and this is a type of block so your pins will enable you to secure your straws or your material to this block to form the exact shape of this block right here so you need your spray bottle okay this enables you to block properly to make your fat your materials you know soft enough for you to manipulate so you need your wire cutter, your glue, the UHU glue, the E6000 glue or any type of glue will do. You need your dummy head. Dummy head is good for styling. After creating your design, you want to see how it looks like before attaching your embellishment, probably to the right, to the left, to the front, to the center or anywhere you want. You need your scissors and your glue gun. Your glue gun right here is really important because you'll be needing it every now and then for your um, design so now let's go to the materials required there are several materials in fact the number is endless countless uncountable right so but I'm going to be mentioning a few because we are talking about basics so you need straws now we have different types of straws these are materials that you use to create your fascinator cap or your hat base or whatever it is you want to create because your fascinator must have a base like a platform where every other embellishment will be on top and i'm going to be showing you two types of straws right here and the first one is cinnamon okay so this is cinnamon right here can you see good and also another type of straw is the paper mat so these are materials that you're going to be using to create your base, all right, so that you can have a beautiful um, and a neat fascinator base. So you also need your millinery wire for you to wire the brim. You need your veil, and this is a type of veil right here. It comes in different sizes and different widths. So this is veil. You can call this bed cage veil, or some people call it net. So whichever name it's called in your area so i'm just showing you the sample so you can see what it looks like and of course you have feathers there are different types of feathers we have the biot feathers the v feathers you know the ostrich quills so many of them the goose feathers a whole lot of feathers that you can use to embellish your fascinator you need trimmings as well like the flowers you know anything that you need to make your fascinator very beautiful you need fabrics as well to create your bow anything you can do with fabric is possible when it comes to fascinator making you need your thread of course you need your dye so this is in cream right here but this is actually in green but it originally comes in cream color so you can have different colors of dye and you can dye this into any desired colors so you also need your crinoline. Crinoline is a very versatile material when it comes to fascinator making. It's beautiful, easy to use, and very classy as well. And you need your stiffener. Stiffener will enable your materials right here to stick and hold in place, giving you the shape of your block. 
and also you need your hot glue sticks which is this right here this is hot glue stick and of course you'll be needing this handy every time so you want to have it you know handy anytime you want to create your beautiful fascinator now that i have mentioned the tools and the materials needed you would need the skill and techniques to be able to put this together to create your first and beautiful fascinator or headpiece so i hope you have learned a thing or two in today's episode which is day two i'll see you tomorrow being day three thank you so much for staying with us